Hello and welcome back to We Who Are About To Die. And we're going to go into a 1 versus 1 right here against an Oakan Elder. This is obviously a pretty high tier character in comparison to what we are all about. However, as you can quite clearly see, my rank here is actually rank 5. And bear in mind that a lot of my rankings are uh, actually pretty low, about the same as what I am right now, but that's obviously because we haven't really done many of those. We've done a lot of one versus minis, but I, I assume that's actually going to be reduced as time goes on. I've already taken a look at the betting screen. I personally think that I'm probably not going to be taking anything here. Deal 200 damage to teammates, that's probably not going to happen because that would actually require us to do uh, basically 100% of the damage if we're assuming that every single person has 100 HP, which I think they do if they don't have the rabble trait. But basically what's going to happen is uh, they're going to get hit, right? My teammates, because I obviously have Entourage, so two allies are going to be added. And this guy is obviously going to do damage to them. So I'm not actually going to be able to inflict 200 damage to them. So that's the reason why we're not going to be betting. Otherwise, we're just going to go straight on in. Now, this is obviously a thing where we're going to have maybe a good opportunity to... Hmm. Maybe, I don't know, maybe level up our two-handed sword skill. I mean, maybe maybe I should have trained, actually. Probably would have been a good idea for me to train. Did I already train, by the way? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, whatever the case, this gives us an opportunity to see our entourage skill in action. I've got to say, I actually really like the entourage skill. I'm going to go third person here. Third person is actually super, super fun. Personally, I feel like it's really, really nice, actually, the addition of this. Oh, wow. I literally just got murdered almost. Let's, uh, let's not get murdered, shall we? Nice damage, nice damage. Okay, we gotta be a little bit careful. Nice. Okay, I'm trying to not take damage, but amusingly enough, it seems that I am indeed taking damage. So overheads with this weapon are actually awful. I don't know whether you've noticed that. But they seem to be really, really bad. And I'm probably not going to be using overheads with this weapon that much. I think that the sweeping attacks from side to side seem to be much better. Uh, because whenever I've attempted to do an overhead, the speed of the swing is too slow, in my opinion. I feel like it's too slow, it leaves me open way too easily. Whereas the horizontal slashes, they're much, much quicker and it makes everything more responsive and just generally is, is much better. But anyway, okay, so we've got free repairs or free shop rerolls. I will be going for free repairs because the shop rerolls, I mean, that basically makes no sense whatsoever because I already have a huge amount of fame. So it makes no difference, or, you know, for me to take that. Anyway, let's actually just take a quick look here. Okay, so nothing that I really want to go for and I'm actually going to be unlocking a couple of extra slots here. Because as I said, we do actually have a significant amount of fame. So it makes sense for me to actually do something here and actually have a look and see if I can get something good. And this is actually pretty decent. But obviously, I am pretty happy with my two-handed sword at the moment. So I don't think I really need to do anything about that. Let me actually just take a quick look. Maybe we can get a better helmet. I'll try to re-roll a little bit and see if we can get a better helmet. Hmm... Okay, this is actually really, really useful. So I'm going to buy this. There we go. And we're probably, obviously, going to heal ourselves. There's 39 HP back from that. And we're going to be... Um, well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to just see what our battles are. And then we'll see what we can do. Okay, many versus many. There's a tournament. Ha! Huh. Right, okay, so there's a tournament. This... I feel like, that. you know what, I feel like this should provide you with more, um, more of a reward. Is it just me? Is it just me that feels like the reward for a tournament is really, really low? I don't know, maybe that's just me, I don't know. Anyway, uh, what's this? Insurance? Hmm. That's a pit fight. Right, so we've also got some bets here. Deal 300 damage, get two dismemberments, and end with 80% public favor. That is almost impossible uh, for me right now. I think my... I, I'm not entirely sure if my class actually makes it more difficult for me to please the crowd. Let me actually just see. Mm, yes, it is harder for you to win over the audience during combat. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so as you can tell... 
We've got a couple of uh, other different kinds of stats here now as well. And I'm actually going to be, I will be training here because I think it kind of makes sense for me to do that. We're going to gain 0.4 stamina skill. Okay, so I still don't actually understand why we're only gaining that. By the way, there's a reason why I'm not training a secondary skill here. If I were to select this, for example, I'm going to need to... Uh, buy an additional training gear, but also it reduces the amount of stamina that I'm actually going to gain. You see, that's the reason, because look at this. I'm going to get 0 0.2 instead of, oh, 0 0.2. Oh, okay. Uh, that was not the way that it was uh, beforehand when I, when I used to play. So I guess that was changed. I don't know. But there you go. All right. Well, okay, fine, fine. I take it back. My apologies. My apologies. I actually thought it was going to be a little bit different here. But no, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And let's see. Can I actually... Wait a minute. I'm just going to see something real fast. Okay, so 2.1 stat... Okay, so this is... Okay, fine, fine. Let's do it. Let's do this. So we're going to gain 2.1 stamina skill, and we're also going to get... Okay, so this is definitely... Uh, this this has definitely been reworked in some way. Because from, from my reckoning beforehand, when I first played this game, I didn't have the experience that stamina and a secondary focus uh, was good. Because generally, when you would do this it would reduce the overall amount that you would get from the training. At least that's what I seem to remember. But obviously, let's just say that, you know, my memory isn't the greatest. So maybe that's not the case. But yeah, well, whatever the, whatever the case, we're going to actually move on. And we're going to try and see. I'm going to buy this, actually, just so that I can get an additional, uh, an additional piece there, just to make sure that I have a little bit of protection just in case. And we're going to be going into the tournament. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not a big fan of going into the tournament, but we're going to do this. I'm not going to bet on anything, even though betting is encouraged with my current uh, current class. But is ah, the, the amount of... Uh, the, the various bets are not very good uh, from, from my perspective right now. You know, dealing 300 damage is extremely unlikely. Um, I would need to do a lot to do that. And, okay, so I do actually have some people on my side here. Oh, wow. I've actually got a lot of people on my side. Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. All right, well, um, this guy's going to die really fast if we can hit him. Oh, literally. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, this, yeah, th this is, okay, I remember this guy. I remember this weapon. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just get out of here real fast because this weapon right here, this weapon that he's using is absolute insanity. Like, it is literally one of the best weapons in the whole game, from what I recall. And it is uh, incredibly powerful. And it's something that generally uh, quite a few people used to use back in the day, and it was, uh, it was basically lauded as being maybe one of the most powerful weapons in the game. At least that's what I, re I remember. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's also purely because the AI is really good at using it. Uh, so you have to be very careful, and my stamina is basically dead. Oh, yeah, of course, great. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna get out of there, thank you very much. No, 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 you cannot, you cannot do damage to me, sir. There we go. A little bit of damage here and there. Bear in mind that I am indeed training, so it makes sense to uh, be a little bit careful with my stamina usage, but I'm not actually doing a very good job with that. Okay, come, come on, friends. Can you actually help me out? Yeah, they are helping me now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. That was that was hilarious. Okay, so round one, victory. And now bear in mind that this is obviously... Oh, I feel replenished. Oh. Oh, I was healed by 25 HP. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting that. Oh, wow. Nice damage. Nice damage. Okay, here we go. Don't get killed. Don't get killed. Just do some damage here and there. Just try to just try to recover a little bit. Nice. Nice. Okay, come on now. Uh, let's try to not get murdered. He's dead. He's out of there. <laughs> That's fantastic. And uh, this is this is the enemy, right? Yep.
and he's dead. All right, whew, there you go. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Not very close at all, but hopefully we're gonna get replenished again. Yes, healed by 25 HP once more. Very nice indeed. So now I'm basically almost full HP. Very nice. Oh, this guy's got a flail. Oh dear, that is bad. I do have a weapon that does insane damage against shields though, which is really nice. So I'm very much hoping that I'm going to be able to make good use of that and hopefully destroy his shield in the process. I've got to be very careful about how much stamina I use though. As I said before, my overall stamina is indeed pretty low because of my training. And so I'm just gonna try and keep, I'm gonna try and keep him at range. I'm gonna use my superior weapon range. Ow. Okay, whoa, 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 I was a bit I was a bit worried about that. Whoa, okay, I'm so scared when this when when this thing is is uh flailing around. <laughs> it's do it's going to do so much damage. It is really going to do so much damage if it actually hits me uh, properly, you know. This guy is massive as well. What's actually going on with this guy? Why is he so why is he so tall? I don't know. It's kind of intimidating, but yeah, well, whatever the case, let's see if we can take him down. Good damage. He tried to get a retaliatory hit on me right there. Nice. Nice block right there as well. Gonna go for the overhead. Oh, it actually worked! The overhead actually worked! That was amazing! Okay. Use, I, I said I said I wasn't gonna go for the overhead, but apparently that was necessary. There you go. We were actually able to achieve victory, surprisingly. And now, we can move on. Okay, fantastic. There we go. We also ranked up. Stamina region is what I'm going to take every day of the week. And after your previous battle, some of your equipment was broken beyond repair. And the following items have been destroyed. All right, so that's fine. I'm just going to do this. This is going to give me more max stamina and everything. And uh, yeah, otherwise, let's just have a quick look. I'm going to need to get a better chest piece because obviously, as you can see, my chest piece is now done. And unfortunately, I don't currently have a uh, I don't I don't currently have a sword because my sword is way too damaged for me to be able to use it. This is the reason why a lot of people back in the day, at least back when I when I when I did my first series, a lot of people would have secondary weapons. And basically you just swap them out so you'd go you know you'd equip one and then you'd repair the other one and then when the other one was repaired you'd equip that again and then you just you know alternate if you needed to because yeah, that's the thing battles take a pretty significant amount of time to complete and so in those situations it's very difficult to make it work uh, so you know being able to you know heal and and all that stuff is really good okay so what's this Uniformed? Why is this uniform? This is really weird. This is not a draft, from what I can tell. Entourage is here. This is a pit fight. Ugh, I, uh, I do not like pit fights. This is really weird, though. Why is this a many versus one? That's so simple. This is a survival. Okay. Do you think I can complete survival? Do you think I can complete survival? I don't know, because all the aspirants have half health. It might actually work. Okay, I'm going to have to buy this chest piece now, because I know what's actually going to happen. And we're going to heal ourselves. We're back up to full HP, if you can believe it. I, I can't, that's for sure. And we're going to try and bribe some people. We're going to try and bribe Jorodus here. Okay, so let's select a bribe amount here. How do I... Oh, yeah, here we go. There's the... Oh, wait. Ah unfortunate mm, I don't have a lot of money yes I'm going to have to actually uh, do this so let's have a look see here 10,000 fame I got four uh, three thousand gold actually three thousand gold from that that's actually not too bad let's try and uh, let's try and get this Wow that's really bad okay what about this no no okay yeah that's not gonna work so basically uh because we're a criminal right because we we are criminal scum backstory we have the ability to do this bribery assessment is free and you also have bribery less likely to critically fail now the main issue with this is that you're going to have to use the bribery system a significant amount to be able to increase your favor with the patrons because if you don't do that it's going to be extremely difficult to fulfill the victory criteria because as you can see we have Valerius here who's at minus 26 and we have Jorodus who's at minus 14 
So that's the thing. We, we would either need to select battles that appease them, or we would have to do, uh, you know, a lot of bribery and all that stuff. And we would still have to do bribery, to be honest. So the victory is to actually get 80% or more favor with all patrons. And you've got to bear in mind that every single time you do a battle, these guys are going to be annoyed. They're going to be annoyed. You know, some of them are going to go lower and some of, and one is going to go higher. So you have to be very, very careful with how you do it. Anyway, this is a cleaving weapon. I'm going to use this. I am going to have some issues with my um, right leg armor, I think, probably. But we're just going to have to do it. We just have to do it. Because this is a survival. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die here, by the way. Pretty sure I'm going to die here. So I'm going to try to get four kills. We're going to try to get uh, 200 damage. We'll try to do 200 damage. And we're going to do... We're gonna, this, this is hard, okay? This is really hard because this is four skulls, right? This is four skulls. We are significantly lower level than any of these enemies. And I am almost certainly, probably, going to die. Okay? I'm almost certainly going to die. So I just want you to know this, just so that when I do, in fact, end up dying, uh, you know, in this or, you know, any time, the, the main reason why I pick these things is for fun, okay? And it's not to be 100%, you know, uh, sure that I'm going to achieve victory, because, let's face it, I don't really want to be 100% sure that I'm going to win, because if that's the case, then that's a little bit boring to me, but, you know, anyway. Let's see if we can do some damage. Nice damage immediately. Nice damage immediately following that up once again. Oh yeah, we're, we're, go we're going to town on him. He's dead! He's dead! Wow. Okay. Oh, this is... Mm, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Ooh, I, oh, I almost got clobbered by that thing. Okay. This is bad. This is bad news bears right here. This is bad news bears. This is not going to work out. This is not going to work out very well. All right, let's let's see what I can do. Oh no, this is bad. I'm trying to hit their legs. I don't know whether you noticed that. I'm trying to hit their legs. Get them. Yes, there we go. Bear in mind they only have 50 HP. They should only have 50 HP, so it's easy to kill them. But unfortunately, they still do damage. Yes. Oh, he's dead. Wow, he was wow, he was a lot easier than anticipated. Ah, no, no. Got to be careful. Ah, get out get out of get out of there. Get out of there.
got him. Whoa, we got him. Okay, that, that, that is not advisable, okay? <laughs> That's not advisable in any way. All right, do not do this <laughs> unless you want to just have huge stress. Yes, indeed. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> Wow. So my bets, obviously, I managed to do them. Yeah, I actually managed to complete my bets, which is very nice. And we can now, uh, well, reap the benefits, I suppose. Very nice. All right, so there we go. So now what we can do is we can either go for plus 0 0.5 to all skills for all the next characters, max of 10. Or we can do plus 2 to free physician treatments for the current run, that is. Hmm. Uh... I have a lot of money right now. I have a lot of money, so I'm actually going to go for the um, 0 0.5 to all skills. I think that's probably pretty fine. A deep pocket has been aggressively betting against you, leaving all patrons reluctant to pay out well for your matches. As it turns out, it was Valerius who accidentally added a few zeros to a bet. But the old man doesn't seem to recall the event. Best dig into my savings. All matches presented this week will pay out minus 50 percent wow that's actually a pretty significant problem anyway we're gonna actually take this mask over here i'm gonna sell it and we're gonna buy this new helmet because this still provides us with 10 percent additional fame which is obviously pretty useful and apart from that i have to be very very careful here now there is a masterwork weapon here i'm looking for a uh, i'm looking for a blue weapon actually i'm looking for a very specific blue weapon but i haven't seen it yet so that's a little bit problematic. How am I doing in terms of HP? Uh, not that good. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to heal myself again. I'm going to heal myself twice. It's going to cost me 1500, which I think is okay. At least for the moment. And this is what we currently have going on here. So the thing is, I'm going to go for an heirloom because, I mean, let's face it, I might as well. And I also need to get Seal of Approval because this gives you one favor with each patron after every battle. And while this is probably not going to be significantly powerful for us, it's going to help us to, to achieve our goal, which obviously is to get 80%, you know, 80% favor with all the patrons because otherwise it's going to be very difficult. And we're probably going to be buying this pit pauldrons and braces thing, mostly because this is just generally a better piece of armor. And this is actually a really good helmet as well, by the way, but obviously you're going to need the cash to be able to get that. And then we also have the one-handed sword here. That's actually not a bad sword. Um, probably one of the better swords that you can get. Anyway, I am actually going to... Hmm. This is a good good option in my opinion this is a really good option mostly because of the durability the durability is really nice um but yeah anyway let's just take a quick look okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna give some feedback now um if the developer watches or it, it just in general maybe maybe you also think the same thing but i'm gonna give some feedback on the rewards of the elite fight Obviously, I haven't done an elite fight, so I can only say what I see on paper here. But from my reckoning, an elite fight is a boss plus all of these mobs at the same time. Is that true? Do I have to fight every single one of these guys at the same time? If I have to do that, I feel like the reward of 4,000 gold and 2,700 fame is extremely low in comparison to what it potentially could be, which is in, in the case of the, uh, you know, the survival thing that I just did, I got, what, 15,000 for that, including the bets, of course, and that's insane, you know, but I'm not fighting a boss there, you know what I mean? So I personally feel like maybe it's a, I don't know, maybe it's a good idea to uh, tweak that a little bit, I, at least for me, uh, my, from my perspective. I'm gonna bet that we're gonna win within four minutes, and we're going to do this one versus one. This is a honey and soldier. Could be a little bit problematic. I could go in here, but as you can see, the reward is basically nothing. Because obviously it is. Um, oh yeah, actually, never mind. You know what? The reason why the reward is so low is because we are indeed having that event. I forgot about the event that actually came up. Because obviously the event means that we're getting 50% less gold from every single match this week. So... 
that makes sense because this in this case that would be 8,000 gold which would be a lot more in keeping with what it actually is so my bad my bad uh, apologies <laughs> so anyway we're gonna go in here and we're gonna see how we do because obviously this is indeed a one versus one against a guy that is probably pretty uh, pretty good and we are using someone else's equipment we're not using our own equipment or anything like that so it's gonna be uh, a little bit touch and go here because I don't actually have any axe skill and I have an axe um, so this might be problematic Okay, let's see how we do. Okay, he's... Uh, I mean, I can just destroy his shield instantly, can't I? This is... What? What is he doing? What is he doing right now? Why is he letting me actually just murder him right now? Should I just get a shield, actually? Should I just get a shield and pivot to using a, a one-handed or something? Because this guy has no idea what he's doing. As you can quite clearly see. This is very weird. I'm... I'm kind of perplexed right now, mostly because I think he's going to die almost, uh, you know, in, a, in like, what, a few more hits? A few more hits should take him down, and if they, uh, if they don't, we are going to easily be able to destroy his shield. Uh, now, this is one thing, by the way, that I have to mention. Spears are actually really, really secretly powerful. If you can use them appropriately. If you use them really, really well, they are super, super strong. But if you're like me and you're kind of a bit meh, you know, at the uh, at the combat system, then spears are not that good. But they are very good in the hands of a skilled individual. So highly recommended to uh, check those out if you feel the inclination. Anyway, I'm probably going to be going for additional gold here. I don't really care about the free physician treatments because... This literally just saves me 1,500 gold, and this gives me 3,000 to spend on whatever I want. So I'm going to take that instead. Aha! Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, a glorious statue uh, will stand for decades. That's fantastic. It's going to give me 6,000 fame. Obviously, I don't really need that, actually, all things considered. It doesn't really help me that much, but yeah, well, whatever. And we're going to be buying these boots, because this is actually going to give me a wonderful replacement for these. And there's the Bardiche. A Bardiche is actually a very, very good weapon, as you can see. It does 48 damage, but it's a polearm. And I don't know whether you know this about me, but I actually do not like the polearms in this game. This, uh, most of them are very difficult to use for me. And I'm saying this very personally here. This, every single thing that I say where I go, oh yeah, I think this one is really hard to use. That is a personal opinion. It is not a, not a fact that that is the case. You know, it's just for me personally, I find pole arms to be difficult to use. Anyway, should I go for some training? That's the question. I don't know whether I should go for some training. Maybe it would be a good idea to do that. But I'm going to take unionize actually. Unionize is going to be very important for us. Mostly because then we get the opportunity to re-roll fights if we want to. Let's take a look here. A one versus many for 9,000. And I also get Entourage. <laughs> I also get Entourage. Okay. Win within two minutes? Can I win within two minutes? What do you think? There's three flail men here and, th and two chosen. Oh dear. Okay, win within two minutes. I'll try and win within two minutes. It's highly unlikely I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to not, not bet anything else because I highly doubt I'm going to be able to achieve victory with anything else here. And we are actually going to be switching over to this sword here. And I might actually buy a shield. Do you think I should? Should I buy a shield? This is actually not bad, this shield. I mean, this is terrible in regards to um, actual protection. Because as you can quite clearly see, it basically has no surface area whatsoever. Um, but it does give me a 13% increased fame multiplier, which is the main reason why I'm actually going for it. So I'm going to get it, even though I personally don't like the shield at all. I feel like the shield is actually kind of, well, it, it, it's basically almost useless, to be honest, because this shield is not going to protect you in the least. This thing is literally just going to, it's just, it's just there for decoration. That's probably the reason why, by the way, it's giving you so much fame, because the more risky 
the uh, <laughs> the more risky the situation that you put yourself in, the more you are rewarded by the audience, of course, because they see that you're you're using this thing and it's basically the most useless shield in the world. Actually, this shield is even better, but I'm not going to spend four thousand on that, even though I could make it technically by selling this weapon. Um, no, we're we're not going to do that. And I was just I was just thinking if there's anything else here that I really need to get. I mean, this is actually not bad. This is not a bad weapon. Um, it's a one-handed. Oh, I actually didn't even realize that. I thought that was a two-handed, but no, this is going to be a very good weapon, by the way. This is going to be a very good weapon. Now, one thing that I got to say is that I'm not entirely sure if I agree with this whole no masterwork or godly items thing, but that's obviously just my own perspective. Um, because I personally feel like, yeah, sure, okay, I understand, you know, I understand why they've done this, because... Basically, the entire strategy, if you wanted to take a character all the way to the end, is, or at the very least, to give them a really, really good start, is to get a masterwork or a godly item, and then just put that in the heirloom slot, and then your next character starts with that insane weapon, and then you're able to kill enemies in literal two hits. That's how it used to be, at least. However, now I only have the ability to take these things, the, the impressive, the blue items in there. I don't know. It feels a little bit bad. You know what I mean? It feels a little bit bad because these are the, the levels right here. You have ordinary, adequate, sturdy, impressive, masterwork, and godly. And it feels a little bit bad to spend so much resource on getting the heirloom skill and then for it to just be this kind of weapon. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, we're going to just repair our stuff because we need to. And we're going to do the one versus many. We, we do have entourage, so we do have two people that are going to come in and actually help us. So that's alleviating quite a lot of the pressure. And I do... Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to witness um, some very, very messy situations here. This is definitely going to be a case for my allies running in to the arena and getting murdered what do you bet what do you bet they're gonna do that why are you running in there already you absolute imbecile i wanted to press this okay there we go can i press that oh oh we did damage we did actually massive damage that's really nice okay no no don't get hit now don't get hit now can we kill this guy he's a he's a flail guy okay i'm gonna have to be real careful i'm gonna have to run away here I need to do some damage. Oh, dear. Yeah. This is a problem. Uh, uh, the, the flails are killing each other. But they're also killing me. Oh, no. This is bad. All right, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> did you see the cheese? <laughs> did you see the cheese that I used there? Yeah, anyway, basically the AI was like, yeah, I'm gonna run over the traps every single time. I love that. Okay, yeah, so basically I was just trying to, uh, I, was trying to I was trying to bait them into the traps, right? I was trying to bait them into the traps every single time because my allies, as I suspected, they basically just completely 
left me alone. You know, they just basically left me alone. And that was really bad. You know, that was super, super bad. So that was the reason why I was taking the, uh, taking the opportunity to uh, pretty much just absolutely, uh, you know, uh, screw them over with um, with wonderful traps. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Anyway, try to keep up with Valerius' experience. You gain 15% favor with Valerius, but suffer minus 30 max stamina. What? I should not have done that. Uh, is that going to come back? Is that gonna- that's not gonna come back, right? No, I don't think it is actually. I don't think it is actually gonna come back. Okay, that's- that was a mistake on my part. I didn't know that that was gonna happen. Um, but that's absolutely awful. That is probably one of the worst events that I have seen so far. And I'm gonna have to avoid that in the future. Because me doing that has literally just messed with my stamina region so massively. Um, that I'm now in a situation where we're having some huge, huge, huge issues. Um, so that's not exactly good. Anyway, I'm gonna, um, gonna unequip the shield for now. I'm gonna equip this. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, I had 90 something stamina region percentage, and now I only have 76%. And I'm not sure whether this is the case. Nope, nope, that's not the case either. So it is probably due to the fact that, yeah, I, I went drinking with that guy. Okay, that is really bad, actually. That is really, really bad. Okay, yeah, there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to heal ourselves. And then we're have to gonna, we're going to have to go in. We're going to have to go into something else. So let's actually have a look. What do we have? Okay, so we've got a tournament once again. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the tournaments, actually, all things considered. What's this? Wild card. Entourage with the pit fight. Okay. Sure, we could do that. And a many versus one. I don't even understand what the many versus ones are all about right now because this gives you such a low amount of money. And, and I mean, don't even get me started about the fame. I guess the best thing to do is to try and bet. So, for example, you could survive with 100% health. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. Um, but it still gives you less. Uh, it still gives you less than if you were to just do the random pit fight. So I guess I am just going to do the random pit fight. But we are going to be training, first of all. So let's actually get... Uh, I don't even know what to get, actually, right now. I'm thinking two-handed sword, mostly because I kind of want to use a two-handed sword going forward. So I guess we'll just do that. And that's going to get me uh, not that much, actually, all things considered, as you can see. Look at that. Wow. Okay, wh why? Why does it give me so little? That is so weird. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going to get more of that. Okay, I guess I'll just do one-handed sword skill then in instead. And uh, let me just see here. Mm, yeah, that, that sword barely took any durability damage, which is actually fantastic. It's really, really nice to see that. Okay. So, uh, let's go into the pit fight. Because we're going to get Entourage. We're going to get the ability to um, hopefully not take that much damage. Um, oh, wow. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's this this trap in the uh, in the in the in the center there. <laughs> it's a really nice one, actually. This trap is really funny. And uh, generally, if you can bait enemies into this trap, you're going to have a great time. You're going to have an absolutely fantastic time. So anyway, let's just see here. I'm going to see if I can maybe um, maybe I can do something cool. Nice. Yeah, look at that guy. He might get... Oh, oh. We, we, we literally made him lose his shield. Are you serious? How did, how did he lose that? I have no idea. Let's try and bait this guy into going in here. Can I push him in? I don't know how to push, actually. I don't think there is a pushing button. But, yeah, we're taking significant damage from this guy. But my uh, sword actually does do massive damage against shields. So, kind of hoping that we can make... The most of that. Unfortunate that I am now. Ah, I'm out of stamina. Don't get hit by that thing. That is the Iron Claw weapon, by the way. The Iron Claw weapon, as we know, is an extremely powerful thing that can do massive damage. Nice, nice. We hit him into the thing. Yes, we hit him into the trap. Perfect. Me utilizing the trap every single time I can. Haha. <laughs> Blocked that. Very nice. Yeah. 
He's dead. All right, fantastic. And we can now hopefully help out our other friend here. He's taking way too much damage. He's dead. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very, very well done. Okay, come on now. Last enemy standing. Get him. Yes, he got pushed into the trap a little bit. I was kind of hoping I could push him in again. Oh no, don't get killed. Don't get killed. This weapon is one of the most dangerous in the game, by the way. Wielded by the AI. Whoa, nice block. Wow, I'm actually... I was actually kind of surprised that I blocked that and... Uh... Yeah, that weapon is one of the most powerful in the game. That is definitely one of the most powerful, but there you go. We actually managed to reach the rank of champion this time around. Uh, oh well, never mind. Let's start a new run. We are, we, we do have an heirloom. Do bear that in mind. We do have an heirloom. We're playing as a slave once again. Okay, I'm not a big fan of that actually, because the slave has a very punishing, very, very punishing thing uh, with all the gold being taken, but that's okay. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good, good time. So, uh, let's just, um, uh, I don't even know what to call ourselves right now. Let's, uh, let's go for, um, there, there, there you go. You're going to get, if you, if you know this, then, uh, congratulations. Okay. If you know this reference, then congratulations. Otherwise, let's do it. There we go. All right, so we start with this. Obviously, it is damaged, um, which is a bit weird because actually it wasn't damaged when I uh, put it in the heirloom slot. So that's a bit strange. Um, yeah, I have a rusty club. And we have a golden frying pan as my first weapon. Yes. Um, yeah, just gonna, just gonna get it. Just gonna get it. Why not? Why not? And we can actually sell this right now. I'm probably just going to sell it. Why not? Don't really see the point in and I'm not selling it. Okay, so let's have a look. What do we want to do? We want one-handed sword skill, right? Can I actually even do this? Probably not, right? I can. Okay, good. Really? Look at this. Look at, look at how little this actually gives me. I feel like training is absolutely useless now. Is that just me? Look at this. The, 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 I need to train this much more to gain anything from it. So I guess I'm just going to have to do that. Wow, that's actually kind of... Uh, hmm, that's actually kind of hilarious. Okay, so this is a one versus one. Um, I don't know what it's like because I have to... Wow, okay, these rewards are terrible. What's actually going on with the rewards right here? Okay, I have no idea, but yeah, we're going to have to actually... Um, I don't even know what to do right now, because I would like... Uh, maybe I should do this one? That's a many versus many. Nope. I, wow, I don't, I don't like the many versus many's. I don't like the many versus many's, so we're going to have to do it the other way. So, we're just going to go in here, and... Uh, well, the golden frying pan, if you don't know, is a weapon that I actually played on stream one time. I, and I actually used this uh, through multiple matches. And made it pretty far, from what I remember. Okay, let's actually see here. Okay, this guy... <laughs> this guy has no idea that he's actually up against the literal master with the with the uh, golden frying pan. He has no clue that he is about to get cooked. Yeah, I don't know, actually know what happened to my stamina just now. I actually have no idea. Oh, I hit him with the trap. That's hilarious. I wasn't actually attempting to do so, but uh, I'm just randomly doing it. Just in case, you know, just in case he actually gets hit randomly. Okay, there is actually a golden jug on the floor there. Do you see that golden jug? Okay, hit him on that. Try and get the uh, the trap. There we go. No, no, never mind. He didn't get hit by it, unfortunately. But as you can see, the golden frying pan is absolutely monstrous. It is one of the most powerful weapons in the entire game. And you should definitely use it in the early game. Mostly because, look at look at how much damage it does. It's doing 10 damage every single time. And you're going to gain an additional 
15, actually 25% fame just from that. And can I pick this up? How do I... How do I pick up the uh, golden jug? There it is. Fancy jug. I need to pick that up. There we go. There's the fancy jug. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave the golden frying pan on the floor. I'm not going to be able to take it. Um, but as we know, the golden frying pan literally sells for... Uh, like what, 300 or something like that. And the fancy jug, if I am lucky, it will probably sell for about 5,000. So that's pretty good. Anyway, there we go. We gain a little bit of extra money there as well, which really isn't going to do much. Um, oh, I actually kept that. Wait a minute. Did I not do the... Wait a minute. Did I not actually do the thing that gave us the ability to... No, I, I, I apparently didn't. I apparently didn't do the thing that I thought that we did. So, never mind. Don't worry. It's all good. Everything is fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Okay, so we got a survival here, which could be very, very lucrative for us. Let's have a look. A many versus many. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I will do survival again, but not in this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.